Hello my YouTube, it is Jitterbugs Corner and today we're going to be talking about how my day went and before I reveal exactly what's going on, I have my finger on the stupid lens, but the night started off with me going to my friend Austin's and inviting um, someone who's more than a friend named Eli and after like three or so beers, I decided to do this. <laughs> I am completely bald. There's like nothing. There's absolutely nothing. Just uh, so there's an adjustment to light. It's probably going to happen in just a second. But yeah, it's pretty fucking crazy. So, Sorry, that was my younger brother. Um, so to start off, um, I have, so you can see how much there is. Um, I plan to finish this by the end of the video. I don't know how fucking long it's gonna take. I am already pretty inebriated <laughs> enough so to just shave my head when, like I mean like, shave it. <sighs> Jesus, I can't even, but, no, I, like, don't get me wrong, I fucking love this, like, it feels amazing, like, I love smooth, um, but, mm. okay, so, the reason I went over to Austin's with Eli, um, is we were going to smoke burgers and I made butternut squash fries, which were not as crispy as french fries, but nonetheless fucking delicious. And the burgers were smoked. I just need to tell you, just have smoked hamburgers. It's the best. They were still juicy, perfect pink in the middle. Well, that's how I like them. You can do a little more, but that's... You know. So, there was that. Plenty of tequila. Lot, lots of it. Almost regret it, but not quite. Um, and then I went back to Eli's and we built a fire in his backyard. Um, I had two more Desecchi's, which is completely fucking empty. The other one is at his place, empty as well. Um, I was thinking about drinking summer shanty. Shanty. <laughs> Shandy. Um, but I don't want to piss off my mom because <laughs> that's her favorite beer and she probably has like only has like two left, which is probably why she opened this which is why I'm going to drink it, because this wine, as delicious as it is, could be yours for only $5.53. Yes. I'm not going to tell you what it is. You'll just have to guess. <laughs> like, I really don't even care. Um... I'm not going to do any makeup, I'm just going to talk to you guys. Um, I'm going to tell you about my experience about being shaved first. Like, not only does it feel really cool, but it was such a bitch. Because my hair is really, really thick. You can't tell that now. But, I mean, if I ran my fingers through my hair, it would stop, like, right here. Because there would be enough grip in my hair to stop my hand. And it'd be kind of a struggle. Not that I had to push it back or anything, I just liked feeling it. Um, because I like touching myself. So, I probably know that looked really weird. <laughs> but, and also this camera is like, the angle is bugging me. Okay. Also, I want to show you my top. Um, I know I have a little bit of a belly, but I only weigh like 135 pounds. So, it's just my height. 
That's what makes it look weird. But it has this clear like tie up on the side. It looks really nice. I bought it from I think Forever 21 or some shit. Um but shaving was pretty hard. Clippers were easy. Um, to get the bulk of it down, but I mean when it actually came to razor on the skin um, It took forever. <laughs> I wish I would have had my coconut oil, but I totally forgot to bring it So I had to use like this. I think it was like Old Spice conditioner or some shit to lubricate I'm quite happy with it um, My friend Austin did most of it, but like the few parts that he couldn't like really feel I did myself and I actually did a really good job like my neck's done perfectly like it's all um this is probably a really weird video but I really don't even care because it's my channel <laughs> the um but I will say Curious as to what you guys are up to. No one ever comments on my stuff. Well, like there have been like literally a handful of people and I don't mind that. It takes a while to, you know, have people be able to actively do that kind of stuff. Um, but I want to know what you guys are up to. Like, are you drinking? Are you not? Are you smoking? Are you not? <laughs> Whatever you're doing. Shit, you could be watching fucking space balls like on mute while you watch this and I want to know about that because space balls is awesome and may the Schwartz be with you and I think at that I'm going to end that conversation and I'm going to pause this and I think of what I should talk about next so hold on instead of pausing it was literally just for a quick second I'm going to drink this wine And I made a post on Reddit a couple days ago where I would do a video and I asked like what I should do. And there are three things that people actually asked me to do that I could do. You know, one of them told me to cover myself in peanut butter and roll on the carpet. Well, if it were my house, I would totally do it. <laughs> But it's not my house, so I can't do that. But um, someone said that they wanted kisses, so I guess I'll give you guys kisses, cause kisses. And someone else wanted me to chug wine. I'm not gonna finish this. But I will chug a little bit of it. Here to you. You know who you are. Yeah. Okay. And now I'm gonna move this outside. Not outside, but outside the bathroom. And I'm gonna do the last thing that someone asked me to do which is somersault. So, let's see how good I feel with that. Okay, YouTube, this is for you and Reddit. <sighs> Ow, fuck. I didn't feel good too bad on my head, actually. Okay. There, I did it. <laughs> Bam! Oh, this light looks so much better. Okay, now you can really, really see it. You can see where my follicles are still. <laughs> but now that I did my Reddit stuff, um, 
I want to ask you guys a question. And it's only because I'm really stoned right now and drunk. But do you think that there's been the same amount of water on Earth as there always has been? I know that sounds ridiculous <laughs> and crazy, um, but I believe that there's always been the same amount of water because once it evaporates, it goes into cl it becomes clouds, and then when the clouds become too dense, they perform precipitation of all kinds. And just because it changes the state that the water's in, it doesn't really go away, I guess. And I know some people are probably going to be like, well, what about, like, glaciers and ice caps and stuff like that? And it's like, well, that's still water. It's just frozen. Like, deeply frozen. Well, not deeply frozen anymore, because, you know, global warming and what have you, but that's a totally different other conversation that I'm not going to have right now. Um, and people will disagree with me on that, but we will get to that in another video if I even remember to do it. <laughs> and I probably won't. I most likely won't even remember this video, which is totally fine with me. As long as it's fine with you. But if it's not, I don't fucking care. Because <laughs> you're watching it, aren't you? At least till now. And then you exit it out. And you were like, well, I'm done for tonight. Anyway. Well, I guess I'm just going to continue to chug wine, even though I really didn't need to do that. Um... I'm probably really gonna work at this in the morning. Especially because I do have work. But I digress. I'm not even sleepy, so. Oh, I wanna do my makeup, but I don't wanna have to take it off. No, so we're not gonna do it. Um, I'm gonna tell you a little bit about myself, just because you guys really don't know me. Um, I'm going to tell you a few of my favorite things that are completely insignificant. My favorite tree is a whipping willow. Weeping willow. Um, I know that the Texas state lizard is a horny toad. I think that's badass because they're pretty fucking cool. Um, I'm a huge fan of Ramstein and Primus. And a majority of 80s bands, actually. Like Foreigner, Van Halen, Rush, Pink Floyd, even though Pink Floyd started earlier, so it's Rush. Um, yeah, I'm a little bit of Foreigner, but still, they're really, really popular in the 80s. Um, I know how to rap. Not freestyle. No. I mean, like, I can... I can do a majority of Rap God. <laughs> And I know every Hollywood Undead song, because they're one of my favorite bands. Um, they give me goosebumps. And so do a lot of, that's why I base my music on, is feeling. If I get goosebumps from it, or if it makes me feel something, I dig it. Um, really haven't found much country to dig. Other than, I think, Garth Brooks right off the bat. Um, like, my mom first told me, um, the first time she ever listened to Garth Brooks, he was playing outside of a mall in the parking lot before his first record, um, Friends in Low Places, came out. She was pregnant with me. <laughs> and that must have been interesting. I really do like Garth Brooks. Um, Friends in Low Places, one of my favorite songs, but my favorite song from Garth Brooks would have to be Two of a Kind, which is super hard to do on karaoke because nobody has a karaoke version of it, which aggravates the fuck out of me. And I do karaoke a lot, and I don't know why I said it like that. Anyway, I know this video is a little long, but it's a vlog, so you can suck my theoretical, imaginary, glorious dick. 
no one's gonna appreciate hearing that. <laughs> So, other favorite things, peanut butter. I'm just going to leave it at that. Just, it's so good. Um, I love seafood. It's probably my favorite thing to eat. Um, I love it more than steak. I love steak a lot. <laughs> Um, just beef in general. I think the only thing that beats seafood is, and no one's going to like this, but I absolutely adore, adore escargot, which if you don't know, is snails. Yes, it's gross, but I, I love food. I mean, it, it's crazy how much I love food. I've eaten duck's tongue. I've eaten cow's balls. I'm Mexican. It just, you come across it at least once. Like if you're still in touch with like that side of your family or like you're really in touch with that heritage. Um, and I get that not everybody who's Mexican does, but like I'm in Texas, so that kind of clarifies, clear, like clarifies things just a little bit. I've eaten intestines. I have eaten escargot, as I've said. Um, I almost had sea urchin. I've eaten octopus. Um, even made my own octopus tacos, actually. And if you want the link to um, that picture, I'll put it in the description below. Because it was really, really good. Um, the octopus actually ended up tasting like bacon because of the way I marinated it. And it was just amazing. Just so good. And I'm a huge veggie lover. I love vegetables. They're just... They're my thing. <laughs> I love roasting them. That's my favorite way to do it. Um, and then sometimes I bake vegetables and like and fruits to make like snacks because I need to eat healthier. I don't weigh very much, but um, my stomach is relatively sensitive nowadays. Um, I can't really eat fatty foods all too much. I really, really try to limit that, and I haven't had a soda in three days, and it's driving me crazy. <laughs> just like when I was quitting cigarettes, it was just like insane. Um, let's see what else. Another favorite thing. Favorite game is Sims, hands down. I love creating people and making their personalities and the interactions I have with people. It's, and this is going to sound super depressing, um, but like I make my own ideal world in there. I don't make myself, but like sometimes I do because, you know, it sounds that. And you make your crush or your boyfriend or girlfriend or whatever the fuck because Everybody does, at least once, at least once. I do it every time, not every time. I mean like every time I get a new Sims game, I'm like me first and then boom. But when I play Sims, I'm pretty twisted. I mean, the, it gets sick. <laughs> like I've only found like three other people randomly on the internet that have been shared through my Facebook over millions of other people, um, but they do the same shit I do. I make a really attractive sim. This is the sim. Notice they're fine as fuck. Good qualities. Low morals. So, we take this attractive person. And then I start them off normal. Just base career, no cheats. I have used cheats before, not even gonna lie. And then they meet this person. Notice how they're very different. 
she will consume him. They will become lovers. And then in the house that she has, or he, sometimes they make it a dude, gender equality. <laughs> That's what I'm going to chalk it up to. Um, and I build a basement. And I lure the person down there. They fuck. She leaves to go do whatever. I delete the stairs. They eventually die. Take their ashes that come in this little urn. Um, it's not this big. It just imagine this is real life and I'm not crazy. And I make her display them <laughs> in her living room. And her next victims are like actually like because you can't control other people unless they live in your house. They're mourning all these urns and everything and you're not feeling anything because you're like, you're about to die. And, and I sound crazy. Oh God. <laughs> but it, I only do it occasionally. It's like one town out of everything because I have all these expansion packs and stuff. Um, which I did. But I did, totally. Um, and I don't have a favorite food at all. I don't. It's, you know, ridiculous. I gotta plug my phone in, hold on. I don't have a favorite food. I go through cravings like a pregnant woman. Sometimes I crave barbecue. Sometimes I'm craving sushi or I'm craving Korean barbecue, which is something that I've only seldomly found in my town city. <laughs> That shit sucks. Yeah. Damn it. So, now I'm going to tell you what I like about Korean barbecue. There's a place here in the city that I live in, and they pretty much do, like, per person, it's like 25 bucks, and you have unlimited everything for Korean barbecue and they kind of like you can make it yourself or like you can have someone make it for you I, mean, I think that's really fucking cool because although I do like to make my own stuff I adore it it's how I show my love to people um which is why I shared it with you guys um but having someone uh, someone else make it and having that trust in them is really nice um and i love chinese food this is my guilty pleasure <laughs> and for some reason and i don't know why i really really adore french food i don't make it very often because it's all it's usually a very lengthy process but I make this one dish um, called um, chipino. And chipino originally comes from Spain, but the French adopted it and they added a little more. Um, and it basically trans, I don't think it translates, but it really does mean a, like a many fish stew. And there's at least more than five, but five is the minimum because you need flavor here. And it's pretty crazy how I make it. It's, it takes like three to four hours total the way I do it. Um, but it's the same things you would find traditionally. It's just, it takes longer for me because I want more depth of flavor. And like I want a nice 
small spice behind it and that's something that needs to be developed. It can't be too harsh, but it can't be too hidden. And it's part of the reason why I love cooking is like that balance of just perfect taste of like the tomato, because I use fresh tomatoes, I don't really use canned. Although when I am in a pinch, I do use both. Um, but you need some sugar for that tartness that is from the, the like acidity because there's a difference between tart and acidic tart is like mm, makes you perk up and then acidic is when you combine it with other things can be very mellow i know that doesn't make any sense <laughs> but some of the chefs out there will understand um at least home chefs um i would never call myself a professional by any means. I am the furthest thing from. Um, I actually thought about opening up my own um, food truck. Okay, so small story. Um, just because I have you guys here anyway. Um, from the ages of pretty much 8 to 17, I wanted to be a chef. And that was what I wanted to do. Like, that's all I wanted to do. So, I used to model when I was younger. Um, no one's gonna believe me on that shit. But I do have pictures from like when I did model that I got digital copies of. Um, and I worked for Barbizon. By the way, ladies or mothers who have very attractive children or someone who wants to aspire to be a model, um, do not go with Barbizon. No, don't, you don't, no. You're going to be paying more money than jobs you're actually going to get, no matter what the area is. I've met people from all over the United States, and the Barbizon didn't do anything for them at all. Like, not a whole lot of agencies sign with Barbizon. Barbizon is kind of like the Walmart of the modeling industry, and I didn't know that. But the only reason I got involved in the first place is because my friend Maddie dared me to sign up. And then a year later, they were like, hey, we saw your contact information and we totally want you to come try out. And I did. And I came up with a commercial. And it was a commercial for something I actually wanted to do, which was called the Purple Pig. It was going to be a barbecue joint and I made my own jingle. I don't remember what it is. But it was catchy as fuck. Enough to land me modeling jobs. And not any commercials, but I did print. For those of you who don't know, print means, you know those JC Petty and Macy's catalogs you get? That's what I did. Except only my hands or my feet. None of my face. Or actual torso or body. I keep burping, damn. Or body. Just feet and hands. I have really good hands and I have really good feet. Not now. They, like, they're still in relatively good condition, but not model worthy anymore. Done too much work apparently. So, I met all these kinds of people and once they got out on their own without Barbizon's help, they actually went further than Barbizon ever really could. Because Barbizon makes you pay a shit ton of money for classes, which really, if you're gonna start doing makeup, um, that you're teaching you primitive shit that's not up to date with any of today's looks, as far as I know, in Texas. Maybe better elsewhere, let me know. But here in Texas, they're falling behind. And. I would go maybe like once every two weeks because that's when the like classes were because they had all different age groups and stuff. It was like the YMCA. It was just, and I've been there too. 
like I spent most of my summer there from the ages of six to like nine and it was just ridiculous. So it didn't teach me anything. And then I went on a cruise. A cruise didn't do anything either. I just paid a bunch of money to go. And I went by myself. I had some fun times, don't get me wrong. Um, but it was just a huge waste of money. It was pretty much just me going on vacation by myself for like five days. I was 17 and <laughs> I got drunk for the first time in Mexico and I wasn't even the legal age but it's Mexico and they don't give a fuck. Like I even know that because I visited Mexico before then. It was just a different part of Mexico like Cozumel and shit. Um, tourists out the wazoo. And I went to the Grand Cayman, which was really nice. It is still very touristy, but I saw non-touristy parts. I did um, a boat ride that was literally like me and four other people because no one else wanted to do it. I just wanted to be able to go out on the water. And the guy did spins in the fucking boat and it was extra cool because I'm 17 and drunk. <laughs> without adult supervision whatsoever. <laughs> and then I went to hell, and hell was amazing. The best rum I've ever had in hell. It was so great. And they had chocolate rum cake, and that was delicious. Um, I went to a sea turtle farm, and this is all in the Grand Cayman. And when you hold a sea turtle, if you ever plan to go on a cruise, or just randomly pick up a sea turtle, under the first set of flippers, like this, like you got claws for hands, just bang, right underneath like what I would like to call their armpits. <laughs> and then with your fingers right here, massage under their neck, and they'll just fall asleep. And it's super cute. And you can only do that when they're small because they're small enough to be able to do that. They're probably about like two years old, maybe. Um, but now you have that in the back of your pocket <laughs> to tell some random chick or dude <laughs> about your weird turtle facts. <laughs> also, speaking of weird facts, I know several like ducks quacks do not echo they do not carry a high enough reverberation to bounce off of anything and you're probably gonna call bullshit on me but i'm very very serious <laughs> it's pretty crazy i've seen it for myself i didn't record it because i was like 15 and stupid and still technologically retarded. I can barely operate this phone and this phone's a piece of shit. Um, but yeah. And I know that a man who went down inside a barrel off of Niagara Falls survived, but a week or two later he slipped on a banana and died. Isn't life crazy? <laughs> and the alcohol that you drink, no matter what it is, has no special effect on you. You only think it does. That's only psychological. And only because you think that alcohol is an excuse to act like more of a dickhead than you usually would on any other alcohol, nah. It doesn't work that way. And half the time, the alcohol you're drinking is already diluted and copied and whatnot. And that's just the world we live in because it's America. What do you expect? I'm not saying we're bad, but we're not great. <laughs> Could be better, but I'll take what I can get. I live here. There's nothing I can do. Like, I have a passport, but I'm not going to get a fucking visa to somewhere else. Um, and that's just because 
I'm an asshole of a person, and I have no problem admitting that. I'm fine staying here in Texas, even though, like, access to certain things are a little bit harder for women here. I don't give a fuck. I would rather be here than some other places, and there are some other places I would rather be than here, but I'm not, and I can't, so I'll take what I can get. Because I'm not... Beggars can't be choosers, okay? And by all means of the word, I am a beggar. I really am. I work and whatnot, but... I want, like, better health care for America, but that's not happening. But I'm, I'm doing good. Not good. I'm doing okay. <laughs> like, it's struggling. And I just realized that... My fingers kind of line up with the grids over here. You can't see it, but I can on my lens. <laughs> but, yeah. And, hold on, I gotta pee real quick. Oh, you pulled. Toilet flushing. <laughs> Drink a wine. Okay, chug the wine, fuck it. Anyway, now, you know what, I think I'm pretty much done for everything that I talked about. Without using makeup, <laughs> I almost spilled and broke all of that bottle of wine. <laughs> but, I think it's okay for right now. And, I'll let you guys comment subscribe, like, share, tweet, Instagram, whatever you guys do, or Reddit. Just do whatever. I just wanted to talk with you guys. Not even gonna lie. Just felt my groove in it. So, I'll see you guys later. Love you!